In this video, we're going to go over the Diels Alder reaction. So it's a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. It's also a concerted reaction mechanism. All bond breaking and bond forming processes occur in a single step. And so on the left, we have something called a diene. And on the right, a dienophile. And so when you put these two together, they react in such a way to create cyclohexene. So this double bond is going to move in this position. The next double bond will be used to connect these two carbons. Let's call this carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the second red arrow is used to connect carbons 4 and 5. It creates a sigma bond between it. And the pi bond between carbons 5 and 6, it's used to create a sigma bond between 1 and 6. And so this is going to give us cyclohexene. So that's a basic introduction into the Diels-Alder reaction. Now let's go over some other examples. So let's say we have a diene that has two methyl groups. A methyl group is an electron donating group. It's a weak electron donating group, but it makes the diene more nucleophilic. And we're going to add an electron withdrawn group to the dienophile. So let's use cyanide, CN, a cyano group. The electron withdrawn groups makes the dienophile more electrophilic and thus more reactive in the diels alder reaction. So you need an electron donating group to enhance the diene, but you need to use an electron withdrawn group to enhance the strength of the dienophile. So then these two will react in the same manner. And so we're going to get this product. So let's call this carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So on carbon 2, we have a methyl group and on carbon 3. And between 2 and 3, we're going to have a double bond. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. On carbon 6, we have a CN group. So this is the product for this reaction. Now let's try another example. So once again, we have 1,3-butadiene in its S-cis conformation. And let's react it with this molecule. So go ahead and pause the video and predict the major product of this reaction. So the mechanism is going to be the same. It's not going to change. And so this is going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So let's start with our 6-membered ring. And attached to carbon 6, we have a carbonyl group, which is attached to an oxygen. And on 5, we also have another carbonyl group. And as always, there's going to be a double bond between 2 and 3. And so this is the product for this diels the reaction. Now let's try this example. So let's react 1,3-butadiene with a cis-alkene as our dienophile. So what do you think the major product will be in this reaction? So the mechanism will be the same. We're still going to get a 6-carbon ring. But notice that the CN groups are on the same side. So when we draw a final product, they should still be cis with respect to each other. So this is one way in which we can draw the final product. We can also draw it like this as well. In fact, these two products are identical. Notice that we have an internal plane of symmetry. So therefore, these two products are meso compounds. So in this reaction, we only get one product as our answer. Now, let's try another example. So 
So this time, we're going to use a trans alkene as our dienophile. Go ahead and predict the major product for this reaction. So the two carboxylic acid groups have to be on opposite sides with respect to each other. So we can get that compound plus we can get its enantiomer. So in this case, we're going to get a mixture of two different products, both of which are trans. We no longer have an internal plane of symmetry because this is on a wedge and that's on a dash. Now, in the next example, we're going to react 1,3-butadiene with a dienophile that is a triple bond as opposed to a double bond. So what kind of product are we going to get in this example? So we're still going to get a six-membered ring, and we're going to have a double bond between carbons 2 and 3. Now, attached to carbon 6, we have a CN group and also on 5. Now, in this reaction, the triple bond is going to go down to a double bond. So we're going to have a double bond between 5 and 6. So this is the major product for this reaction. Go ahead and try this problem. What is the major product? So on the left, we have our diene. On the right, a dienophile. But notice the dienophile has a left side and a right side. So the diene can react on both sides. So it can react on the right side as well, which is what's going to happen. So we're going to get a six-membered ring on the left side and on the right side. So we're going to have a total of three rings. And so this is going to be the final answer for this reaction. Now what should you do if you have a diene that is already inside of a ring. So here we have cyclopentadiene and we're going to react it with a dienophile that has an aldehyde functional group. What is the major product for this reaction? So if you have a diene that's part of a ring, in a diels auto reaction you're going to get another ring and so you're going to get a bicyclic compound. This is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. So I'm going to draw the six carbon ring like this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, notice that we have a methylene group or a CH2 group attached to one and four. So in the final product, you can put that here. So that's the CH2 group there. Now, attached to carbon six, we have a CHO group. Now because I'm running out of space, I'm going to redraw that molecule at the bottom. Now don't forget though, we still need to put a double bond between carbons 2 and 3. Now the CHO group, we can draw it like this. This is the exo product, or we can write it like this where it's going down. And so that is the endo product. What you need to know is that the endo product is the major product. And so this is going to be the answer. Now let's try another similar example. So this time, instead of having a five carbon ring, our diene is going to be inside of a six carbon ring. 
And let's react this with this particular dynafile. Go ahead and draw the major product for this reaction. So we're going to have a bicyclic compound again. The only difference in this case is there's two carbon atoms between carbons 1 and 4. So we can draw those two carbon atoms like this. So this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now attached to carbon 6, we have the carboxylic acid group. And so we can put it in the exo position or the endo position. But the endo position, as we mentioned before, is more favorable. And so this is going to be the major product.